What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to Felsbrin. Day three in a row. I'm falling in love with this map. I love it so much. I just want to keep playing. And we're on PS4. Some people have asked, what console are you using? What platform are you playing on? We are playing on the PlayStation 4. I do own a PS4 Pro. That is what we are going to be playing on today. Uh, no more capacity for straw. All right, well, let's go around and see if we can put it in either one of these. If not, we may be making a few trips today. I did not plan on starting out like this, but hey, go with it, right? No more capacity for straw? Oh, boy. Maybe it was right. Please work. No! No more capacity for straw. Okay. Well, we're going <laughs> to we're gonna have to do something about that. We've got 56,500 liters of straw right here. Yay. Well, let's run over. Let's grab the semi truck. So, how is everybody doing today? If you're watching this day of it, is Saturday, Saturday, fun day, all up in the building, baby. Yeah, yeah. Hope you guys are having a good one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's go about it this way. Let's, uh, first person. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello, little baby sheepies. Let's get out of here. I did come through and clean up everybody. Uh, we're kind of picking up where we left off yesterday. If you haven't checked that video out, make sure you do. Uh, we'll leave links in the description below. We'll also leave a link to the uh, playlist in the end of the video. So if you want to fast forward to the last 10 seconds of the video, it'll be right there. Let's get straw me out of here. We, nope. Oh, no, not hay straw. Yes. 250,000 liters of straw in there. We're going to get a lot more. Yo, that oat field. Oh, my gosh. Like, I've done, like, one pass and a half. Uh-oh. Helper D, nearly full grain tank. That's not good. Let's fly over here. Let's see if we can get in there. This is the last field that we have to harvest before we are all done at least with this harvest, uh, we got a little bit more they could go. I don't want to, I don't want to stop them up here, but they are filling up pretty quick. Once we get down to the end, we'll do a little bit of flip a -roo. Oh yeah! So you know what? I don't know if it's too early. If it's not early enough, either way. Well, that was fun while it lasted. <laughs> 248,000 liters of straw in here already. It's it's full. We, we we need another one. I need two. Yeah, we could probably do something. Uh, we just got too much straw. That's that's the thing right there. 248,000. There's too much straw going on right now. Well, what do we need here? We need to open this up. I need to get the 300 out. We need to put a bucket on it. At least I think the 300 is the one with the bucket. I believe it is. I'm going to double check here in a second. We've got two front loaders that will fit on here regardless. Yeah, it's the 300, all right. Oh, baby. Hook up here. So I haven't cleaned the cows since we got, <clears throat> since we got them. And, um, well, some people would say that was neglect, and I would just say, well, they're all right. <laughs> one thing that's super irritating is the horses don't fling out any food. Huh? Why did the rest of them fling out food? Sup that? Sup with that? Oh. Well, it says that these guys have like made this huge mess, which they have not. That's not a huge mess. Why do we have to do this anyway? Ah, oh, well, I just quit complaining. There we go. 603 liters of silage. You stop that, Brahmin. Dumbleman. There you go. Happy cows. Look at that one. He, he's about as happy as happy could be. He is standing in straw. Oh, about to eat. Look, 
Look at that. Now that is just... Mm -hmm -hmm. <laughs> Gosh. All right, so we've got that done. We've got that done. I'll tell you what we could probably go ahead and do. We could probably go ahead and set a mower down here because we do have a huge field needs to be mowed up. We need to get this stuff ready to go. So we're going to grab the 700 series. We're going to go ahead and stick the mower on him. And we get this just in the right spot. And take it off. There we go. Bucket just a little much. That's okay. Pull it around town. Now, the thing about this is I don't believe that we can use the 300 series to mow with. I don't. I don't think we can. Um, well, we're going to have to Ted anyway, so that can go in behind. Let's jump here. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't do anything from the inside. Stinks. So we'll go right here. There we go. Open sesame seeds. Terrible joke. I'm so sorry you guys had to listen to that. <laughs> oh, man. What's everybody's plans for the weekend? What are you up to? Are you going to do anything fun? Or is it cold? Is it hot where you are? What is your temperature like? Why are we going this way? I need to quit talking. <laughs> this is the whole point of the video is to talk. All right. Mowers are around here somewhere. Here they are. We got to get them apart from each other. So, grab them. Bring them around. Let's do all this out in the open. That'll be all right. And do about right here. It'll be cool. I do believe that these still need to be fertilized all the... You know what? Real quick, real quick. Let's take a look at this field. So, this is field... Where are we at? 32. I know it needs lime. But... If... We turn that off. See, it's only one state of fertilizer. Now, my question is, can we take this and start fertilizer on it? Because I have been able to on the other one when it is completely, completely grown, ready to be harvested. I have been able to put fertilizer on it. So I wonder if it's the same here. And one thing we need to do is we need to trade this out for probably one of the new ones. But it only does fertilizer, so it's pretty easy. Look at this around town here. Oh, what are we doing? <laughs> not good, not good, not good. Where does the field end? Field ends right here. We're going to get as close to it as we can. Yeah, see right there. There we go. We are getting fertilizer down. It is in its final growth state. You can see all the grass is the same level around. And it is able to be fertilized. Very, very cool. So let's get this back in. Drop that off. I believe the rear mowers are already ready to go. If I'm not mistaken. I think so. How are they done? I always forget how these go. I believe, let's see, judging by the front one, I believe I've got these turned around the wrong way. Now, they will work whichever way you use them. Also, if you don't know what I'm talking about. So, these mowers are interesting. Back it in. You can hook up to them from the front or the back, which is really cool. It allows you to do these mowers in triples, but... I prefer to run it as butterflies. It just looks better. There we go. Swing them around. I prefer the way these look like this regardless. So, let's unfold. Unfold there. Oh, going up this hill is tough. No, quit hitting that button. I hate it. Get these lined up just so. Right on it. And then... We're simply going to back up, hire a worker, let the worker do all this for us. They should be able to go 12 miles an hour, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. 9, 10, 11, 12. There we go. 13. Oh, it might catch up. Who knows? So we're going to leave this sitting. We're going to let it keep doing its thing. We're going to go back, try and get a little bit more straw up, put the other farm back the way we found it. 
I have got to find a new place for this. I've got the header trailer down there, but it is just throwing me off hard. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sit it over here. Right here. Can we do that? Yes. Yes, we can. Get this folded up. That is it for harvest, at least for a few days or a day. Depends on how long it takes, I guess, to get everything together. Let's take this, bring them around here. Perfect. Yes. I can get it put away, actually. Something's in the way right here, isn't it? It's a semi truck. What you doing right there? Guess we don't park over here now. That's okay. That's all right, because we got an open space right here. Bam. So that's good. Semi truck is good. We can put that away in a few minutes. What else we got going on down here? Ooh, the corn header. Let's see, where's the header trailer? There it is. We need to get rid of that. Where is it located in here? It's around here somewhere, isn't it? Much farther out than I thought. Dad, come. Let's sell that weird named thing. And we do dig it. <laughs> we did get some new stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's check it out in the miscellaneous. We did get lime station, gas station. Uh, we've also got solar panels. These things are pretty cool. Solar panels right here. I mean, ooh, pull it back. So it says it'll make uh, around $820 a day. Now, I'm going to try something here because I think we're in easy mode right now. Yep, difficulty, easy. Let's put that in hard. And let's check that out and let's see if that's changed any. Yes, it has changed. So it tells you what you're going to make in that difficulty level. So it says it's only going to make $500 a day. But we're not really interested in that because I like to play an easy. You get the best prices for the less, least amount of work. I do want to place one of those down. I need to find out how long it'll take to make its money back. So at $800 an hour, it costs $150,000 total. That would cost us 7.6 days in game to make back. Um, I don't even think we're on day six. <laughs> For this entire Let's Play, I don't even think we're on, even on day six yet. We've only gone, what, three days with this setup? I think we went two full in game days with the other setup. Come on. There's just no way I'm going to get that. So we're just going to keep the money that we've got. Get out of here, birds! Let's jump in here. We're going to unhook. We do have uh, well, we got a little bit of fun going on. Let's go ahead and grab a planter. Let's see. A large tractor we're using right now. So we're going to hook up here. Hopefully we got the power to do it. We got the power. And if we don't, well, I guess it's going to show itself pretty darn fast that we don't have the power to do this. Uh, let's switch this over to canola, which I believe it was already on. It was. We're going to do, like I said, a massive canola harvest. We're going to do this over quite a bit. I'm going to take this about right here and set it up. Give it to us, baby. Give it to us. Fertilizer state, yes. Oh, uh, see, that's stuck on six miles an hour. Should be able to go to nine. Or more. Okay, we are booking it. I thought this thing only went like nine miles an hour. Whatever, we're rocking ten. I'm happy with that. Let's bump around, Let's see. Where are we at right here? Then, no. No, that's no good for us. And this right here, we need to jump in here. What do we have in our silo right now? We have 42,000 liters of wheat. 56,000 liters of oh oh oat. Yes, we need to take oat over there. We got 63,000 liters of canola and nothing else really matters. So we brought over our Fent 500, got a little 515 right there. We need to jump in our 313 right here. We need to get this tedded because the only reason we are here, there we go, is for the hay. And if we don't get hay, we can't do the things that we need to do here. We can't feed our horses, we can't feed our cows. So what this is going to do, this is going to make our hay for us. 
and then we are gonna hop out and hopefully not get in the way <laughs> now we've got to windrow this because there's no way i'm coming through here <laughs> with a loading wagon <laughs> trying to pick it all up of course i turned it off oy, oy, oy. those of you that uh that use automatic engine start turned off you know the struggle you're like oh yeah no just get in <laughs> right bumper x or square whatever you no, that was all right, wasn't it? <laughs> and then you, you think to yourself, ah, oh, crap, I just turned it off. There we go. We'll bring around here. Then. That's all right. Okay, cool. This is right, uh, not really where we left it. I was expecting a little bit different angle. That's okay. So I've never used this before. I've seen a silly P use it before. I have never used this. So I'm very excited to try it out. Of course, you guys know on the other farm, we use the larger coon. Is that tree... Can you go through it? Yeah, we can. Well, a little bit, right? We can go through it. So this is definitely a rake. This is definitely 100% a rake. Here we go. Get them lined up. Get them set up. Get it going. Let's see here. Bring it down nice and easy. Should be about there, I think. Now, I've seen these used a thousand times when I was a kid, but I've never, never used it on here. Can we hire a worker? Uh, yes, but they're not... They're, they're missing some. is what's happening. <laughs> it's working though, isn't it? Yeah. So, they're, they're definitely missing some. We're going to have to... Going to have to fix that. Um, but not too shabby let's see where they let up right here yeah no we're gonna sell this this piece of crap <laughs> i don't think so uh, whoever's been mowing over here good job dummy jeez this is gonna have to be sold i can't use this we're missing bits and pieces here and there it's just no good i wanted to use it i want to give it the chance it's, it's not working for me I want to be able to use it with a worker. If I can't use it with a worker, can't use it. So let's get this swapped out for a worker. Let's head back over there. Here we go. Now this, this right here, this ought to do the trick. It's got about the same widths. So we're going to go ahead and hire along here. Eh, still missing a little bit too right here, isn't it? Just outside the realm, just a little bit. So looking like anything outside this field, we're going to have to take care of ourselves. I'm okay with that. It's cool. It's just kind of glad I have this this is much better <laughs> it just works way better why would you not use this this is great so now that we've got this let's hit this all the way to the end do a good job yep double check it make sure it turns around and looks like we're uh, flying here yep as is tradition <laughs> oh boy is he gonna be able to get it out of here off-roading baby yeah, this worker is killing it right now. Uh, we need to come through and we need to fix that. Yes, very, very much so. So there's a whole lot of mess going on outside the realms here. I think what we'll do is we'll come through and kind of give it a dirt dirt around the edge. And it'll delete anything in the area. My problem here, if we can switch around, is that this guy has decided that right here is where they are done. And you are not done right here. You are going to have to continue on right here. Let's see if we hire a worker. Will it get all of that all the way to the edge? Looks like it's getting it all to me. Nice and good. Yes, yes, yes. I dig it. 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 Sweet. Let's continue this. Uh, and then we're going to come through. We're going to pick all this up. Seems like we're coming along quite nicely here. Already got a couple rows pulled up. We got a couple more to go. So guys, this is going to be where we pull off from here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. You know, I please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments section. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys watched this far, drop a hashtag GoHamFam down in the chat so I know who is checking it out and what you guys are liking and what you're seeing. If you guys like this Felsburn map, let me know down in the comments section. I am loving Felsburn right now. I can't explain it. I just can't. I'm just... I don't want to not play Felsburn right now. And so if there's another map or anything else you guys are wanting to see, let me know down in the comments section as well. Make sure I make everybody happy, get to everything. That being said, hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you later.
Peace.